Okay, let's do a card trick, but let's make it a little bit more interesting than your standard uh, pick a card, find a card kind of deal. Okay? Uh, let's take the deck, give it a shuffle, and let's give you a little bit of power. What? A little bit of power? Yeah, you like that, right? A little bit of power over your own destiny. So we have a shuffled deck, and I want you to stick the Joker anywhere you like in the deck. Okay? So, you stuck the Joker in between two cards. Right there. Two cards surround that Joker. And with that, the power that you have, you created your own card. Instead of picking one where I could influence you or anything like that, you've created your own card. Okay? So, pretty impressive stuff. Well done. I think um, now you have to decide which one of these cards is going to represent the suit of your card and which one's going to represent the value. Okay? Because a card has a suit and a value. So, you have a choice. Is this one the value or the suit? The value? Perfect. Your card is a five. Okay? So that means this card represents the suit, because your card's not the five of spades. Your card's the five of diamonds. See how that works out? The five of diamonds? Now, you could have put the joker in anywhere. I can't stress that enough. But still, in my back pocket, I have a card. And that card is the five of diamonds. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you're probably wondering, though. What if you had said the eight of spades? You could have said the eight of spades. I have a backup card, just in case. A backup card, the eight of spades. Thanks.